once you've downloaded and installed the applications, we need to now go and download and install the samples. So let's go ahead and go back to the developer.windowsphone.com website. You can see up at the top here, there's a few links. The one labeled resources is the one we're going to be interested in because that's where the sample apps are located. So this will take you to the Windows Phone development section on the Microsoft Developer Network website. And under the left-hand column here, you can see we're in the Windows Phone development section. And there's a link labeled code samples. It's over here on the left, and it's also down here in this table. So either one of those will get you to the right place. So I'm going to go ahead and click on code samples. Now, there's seven of these code samples currently up on MSDN for downloading and exploring. And they are listed right here. There's one that shows how to build a mini web browser using the web browser control that's included with the SDK for Windows Phone. There's also a sample that shows you how to use the application bar, and we'll see what that is when we get into the anatomy of Windows Phone apps, but it's a common piece of UI that all Windows Phone applications can use to provide access to quick pieces of functionality. There's also some samples that deal with the location service and the accelerometer. So the location service is a service in the SDK that lets your application figure out where it is on Earth. And the accelerometer sample shows you how to use what's known as an accelerometer. It's a little device inside your phone that figures out which way your phone is tilting and pointing. And that can be useful in all kinds of scenarios. There's a few other examples. One is the Hello XNA framework, and we'll get into that a little bit. We're not really going to focus on XNA in this title because it's more focused on application development. XNA is a framework for building high-performance games. The same XNA that you use to build Xbox 360 games and PC-based games, you can use to build games based for Windows Phone. There's also a sample to show you how to make sure your application works well on a global scale using the right locale for the country that it's in. And this affects how things like dates and times and currencies are displayed in the user interface with commas and decimal points in the right place. And then finally, there is another location service example. This one is a little bit more advanced, so we're only going to be going into the first few. And they have been doctored up a little bit in the exercise files so that you can see how to use them. So now that you know how to get the tools and get the sample applications, it's time to start learning about what Windows Phone applications are and how they're built.